Yeah, I, I, I'm not into the party business. You guys know that. I'm not a registered Republican or Democrat. I'm an independent. I don't really think that the political parties are looking out for you. Um, I don't mind that people are in political parties. That's good. If you feel comfortable in a being a Republican or a Democrat, I'm fine with me. I would never criticize you. But for me, they're, they're looking out for a certain segment. They're not looking out for everybody. So there is one person, though, in the Republican Party. And I watched her speech on Saturday specifically because I wanted to see how she framed her presentation. Roll the tape. Across America these last several months, we watched an organized coordinated campaign to remove and eliminate all references to our nation's founding and many other parts of our history. Rather than looking to the past to help improve our future, some are trying to wipe away the lessons of history, lessons that we should be teaching to our children and to our grandchildren. Now, this approach focuses exclusively on our forefathers' flaws, and it fails to capitalize on the opportunity to learn from their virtues, and they had many of those. By discrediting the individuals who formed America's founding principles, they create doubt. And then they can remake America into a very different political image. Governor of South Dakota, Christy Noem. Very impressive speaker, very impressive speech. So I think that Governor Noem is a contender for the presidential nomination of 2026. All right. No, 2024. Uh, you know, those years pass quickly, 2024. If not as the main presidential choice, VP. So if Donald Trump decides to run again, uh, Christy Noem absolutely could be the second. If he doesn't, Christy Noem could win it. Now, why do I say that? Well, the woman's 50 years old. Um, she is a self-made person, a rancher, um, in the COVID situation, South Dakota ranked 43rd out of 50 states. They would have been first most effective in COVID had they not had that Sturgis motorcycle rally, which was just ridiculous as a spreader. Okay. So Chrissy Noem did a good job with COVID, did a good job with her economy, didn't shut down. Um, she is a former congressperson. Uh, elected to the House of uh, Representatives in 2010, elected governor in 2016, it's five years in the office now, and uh, she's done a damn good job. So keep your eye on Christy Noem.